things is that you'll be changed into the image of his dear son, that you'll be changed into the image of Jesus. And the more you learn, the more we learn, the more we walk in him, the more you learn to walk in the spirit and the things that God has put within you and given for you, the more we release ourselves unto him, the more we are changed into his image. When you're walking in the spirit, you're walking in his image. And we started out these messages in the spirit. Life in the spirit. And we went to, to, to what the Lord had done in making everything and in making Adam. And we remember that God said that he, that he said, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. And so, so much of who you are is in that statement. And we don't even understand that, even as Christians, to realize how much we are like him. Like him in his image and his likeness, designed and made as much like him as he could. And he desires us to live in that and to walk in that and to be that. When you work with people, when you want to see people saved, when you look at the seriousness of your ministry before God, it is to the world as well as to the church. And when you look at it to the world or the church, understand that they are designed by God with the call of God on their life, whatever it is. You don't happen to know it. They don't know it. He knows it. He wants to give life to that. He wants to bring them forth. He's not, when he says he's not angry with them, He's far above that. He, can he get angry? Yeah, the scripture talks about that. But for the most part, he's not. He's understanding them. They're lost in their sinful condition. They're blocked from the life of God. The very life and calling that he has in them can't come forth. He wants that. He designed that. He gave life to that. He's after these people. So when you work with people, unsaved especially, walk right past all the junk that would come and bother you. Ignore it. He's ignoring it. He, he's not moved by people's sin. It doesn't surprise him. He knows exactly where they're at, what they're doing. He's moved with compassion like Jesus was for their need. And so when you talk to people, get around people, yeah, they're yucky, yeah, I don't like, you know. That's okay. Underneath, in the midst of Underneath in the life design, the fingerprint of their life is something God wants. And so we're just going to help them get it.